So it's that time of the year again, it's back to school season and in today's video I want to show you some gaming related items that I usually take with me, what kind of things I recommend and I'll give you a couple of alternatives but without further ado, let's just start this video. Alright, first thing first, we have the backpack itself and I do have a Samsonite one over here. I'll link the exact model down in the description because I don't remember it. I gotta say that I love this backpack so much that this is my second one. If you've seen my previous videos, I had this exact same model that was stolen for me. But in exactly the same day, I bought uh, this model again because I really enjoyed it, especially for the size of it. It has a lot of pockets, as you will see. And it's actually very good for traveling as well because it's quite flexible flexible and I can put a bunch of stuff inside, even clothes. Let's start off with the main compartment, which is all the way to the back. And inside, first of all, I have my laptop. And I know it's a MacBook, it's not for gaming specifically, but I recently got this for video editing and I'm actually working on a video on testing out Apple's migration tool for gaming. Essentially, Apple is now providing a tool that will automatically port games from DirectX to their proprietary tool. Stick around to see what exactly this laptop can do gaming related. I still have a bunch of things inside this pocket, uh, but I'll try to take them out in a specific order. So that's why I'm moving over to this one. And of course, I need to show you the ROG Ally, which I featured a bunch of times on this channel already. And uh, actually, this is the official case that uh, came with pre-orders, at least in Romania. And inside, of course, we have the ROG Ally. You know that I love this device. I featured it plenty of times already. I use this more than the Steam Deck, and I mentioned in this video why. But it's not something that I can recommend for everyone, especially for the price. It's still a fairly decent price device, considering what you get. The Steam Deck is still cheaper, and uh, it's hard to recommend it from that point of view. But of course, as an alternative, I can always recommend the Steam Deck. I still have it. I'm still uh, using it. The Steam Deck is still an amazing device. I really love it. This one is also a bit custom using the JSOX backplate, which I gotta be honest, I really enjoy. But of course, we cannot forget about uh, the Nintendo Switch. This is the OLED version, uh, and I do have over here a case from Kiwi Home. This is a really good case. It has a really nice grip to it, and it also has room to store for different games. And this is still dockable. You can simply put the case like that, and you can put this inside the dock. So it's a really nice case that I really recommend. If you want to see a full video about it, let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure to do that. Going back to the ROG Ally, uh, as you know, this is a Windows device. Of course, you can use it as it is uh, using the touch screen and uh, the internal keyboard. It's not that easy for some minimal tasks, of course. So that's why inside my backpack, I also take a keyboard and this is the MX Master Keys Mini from Logitech and I love this device. It's actually my go-to keyboard for everything, uh, for work, for video editing and also for the ROG Ally. The nice thing about this is that it has three different uh, connectivities so you can hook this up to three different devices. So I love this thing. And to complete uh, this setup, I have this pouch over here where uh, my MX Master 3S mouse sits. I love this mouse for the ergonomics first of all, the scroll is amazing and uh, of course the same functionality as the MX Master Keys Mini. You can switch between three different devices. So again, this is the mouse that I use for basically everything. Of course, I can connect these two devices via Bluetooth to the ROG Ally, but if I need to hook it up to a monitor, then I use a couple of docks and I have over here the JSOX Omni Case 2. Uh, this is a very minimalistic dock. It has plenty of ports. Uh, it has two HDMIs, uh, three USB-Cs. Well, one can be used for charging as well. Display port, Ethernet port, SD card, micro SD card, you name it. And the fun part of this dock is that you can simply take this off and you have here a bunch of different adapters and you can also store your SD cards. So this dock, it's everything that you need. And I'm actually using this also with my MacBook. So it's not only gaming related. I have a bunch of different alternatives as a dock. There is this one from Syntec, which offers a different shape when it comes to docks. 
But the great thing about it is, is that it's very light. It's made of plastic compared to other dogs that I will be showing you. I actually take this one with me because it's more portable for me. Then I have this uh, dock from Kiwi Home. Of course, it features a bunch of different ports, but one of the main functionalities that I love about this uh, dock is that it has this button over here, which will simply enable or disable video output from the dock. So if you want to use your device still docked, but to only use the screen from the device itself, like the ROG Ally, then you can simply press this button and on the spot, it changes the input between the Ally or the Steam Deck, for that matter, uh, to the monitor. And last but not least, we have another dock from JSOX. And this is the one that I used the most uh, because I've been using this with the Steam Deck. I really love the aspect of this dock. And actually, in this moment, this is the dock that is sitting on my desk. And I'm using this one with both the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck. The very cool feature about it, it received a software update that enables 30 watts on the ROG Ally when it's plugged in and using turbo mode. Considering this is a back to school video, I want to let you know that you can use the ROG Ally with a dock, keyboard and mouse as you would normally use a regular PC. In a way, you can actually use this as your personal PC, even for studying. It can run games really well. Of course, it can handle some more basic stuff, reading documents, writing uh, documents. The office suite is on it already if you want it. For me personally, I can actually see myself using this as a regular PC. So if this is something that you think is doable for you, I can highly recommend you doing this out. Considering that we need to charge it, I have over here my go-to charger for all my devices and I'm actually not taking the official dock from the ROG Ally with me. I take this one from Anchor and as you can see this is a really really small device and it has 100 watts so more than the ROG Ally one and it's a lot smaller than that one. This is my go-to charger for basically everything. I take this one with me to charge my MacBook even, uh, the ROG Ally, uh, to charge my power banks, my iPhone, so everything. This is the only charger that I take with me whenever I'm on the go. And talk about power banks. Uh, I also have this power bank from Anchor as well. It's a fairly older device. It's a 20,000 milliamp battery, it's fairly small. It's a fabric material on the top and plastic all around. I've been using this for a couple of years and I don't have the need to replace it just yet. But I also have this uh, smaller one. This is mostly for my iPhone because uh, it has MagSafe. Uh, but this is made from Pitaka and uh, I always take it with me because it's fairly easy. Inside the bag I also take uh, my controller and uh, this is the go-to one that I featured a bunch of times already. This is the Stadia one, right? So Google killed off Stadia completely, but they did enable Bluetooth connectivity uh, for this one. And considering that it even has the same button layout as the ROG Ally, basically this is the Xbox layout. Considering that I don't have a use for it anymore, this is the one that I'm mostly using with my ROG Ally or the Steam Deck. So even though my main console is the ROG Ally currently, I also take a bunch of other consoles with me uh, just because I still love them and also because they are really small. And first of all, I have the new Nintendo 3DS XL and this is something that I got uh, last year. I never owned one when I was younger, um, but I gotta say I'm loving this device. I have a Pokemon case on it. I have featured this in the past. I absolutely love this device. Even though Nintendo killed off the eStore recently, this is still such an amazing device and I really hope that someday we can get a new version of this one. So I highly recommend getting a 3DS if you can find one for a decent price because these have gone up really quickly, especially now. And in the same line, you probably know already, but of course I have to carry with me this amazing device over here and this is the PS Vita. Uh, this is the 2000 model, so the slim one. I also have a 1000 model with the OLED version, but um, this is slimmer. I really wish that uh, Sony didn't kill off this device so soon. And now we do have the PlayStation Portal, but this is just a remote play device. And I was really disappointed of Sony not coming up with the dedicated handle device, especially now with all these different devices. 
This is the perfect time to do so. I don't know why they're hesitant in doing that. So these two devices, of course, have to come with me whenever I'm on the go. One or the other, or maybe both. They are almost pocketable, if I can say so. And I also have another small handheld device. Recently, I've been playing this quite often. And uh, this is an unofficial Game Boy Macro. Uh, this is basically a Nintendo DS Lite that it's um, cut in half, so the top screen is uh, removed. This is something that I made myself, but don't worry, the screen and the, the upside were completely damaged, so that's why I removed it. And now I have this device, which me personally, I really love. Uh, I like how it turned out. I have this pink and white version. As you know, the DS Lite has this slot on the bottom that will allow you to play Game Boy Advance games. And the reason why I took this more often with me recently is because I managed to get my hands on a very good copy of Pokemon Emerald. This is in really good condition. I paid around $25 for it. I know that it's pretty cheap. That's why I bought it. So that's why recently I took this um, Game Boy Macro, call it whatever you want. Uh, that's why I took it with me. Uh, it's a project that I really am proud of. Yeah, it's basically the perfect size uh, to take uh, this with you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I know there are a bunch of different other accessories and uh, gaming related items that I could have featured in this video, but I just wanted to show you only the essentials, uh, the devices that I use the most and that I take with me if I'm on the go. If there is something that you can recommend, please drop your comments down below. I'm really curious what kind of other gaming related items you carry with you. I love these kind of things, so make sure to drop your comments down below. Alright, that's it for this video, this is the Tekken Revel, and I'll catch you in the next one.